Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Kill the Dragon, which is a game where you kill the dragon. It might be a horror game, it might not be, we'll see. As a quick note, this is actually also technically an RPG Maker game, but but obviously it doesn't look anything like one the way they've made it. Um, go left into the pond. Hop on the rocks. Your body is ready to start hopping. My body is always ready. You hopped on the rocks, slipped, broke your legs, and hit your head on one of the rocks. You became unconscious and drowned. How'd you drown? It looks like shallow water! Go into the tall grass. If there's raptors in there, I'm gonna scream. You better not put the damn raptors in there. Don't put raptors. A monster leaps around the grass. Well, at least it's not a raptor. It doesn't count. Slash it now. The monster thrust its arm into your head. You died. It was a praying mantis. That's kind of like a raptor, I guess. Okay, let's go forward into the forest. Surely we're not going to die that way. Goblins. Goblins scare easily. Fight them. What? One of the goblins rushed at you and stabbed you. You died. A rookie mistake. Let's go around the pond. Go around the pond. You made it for the pond. Congratulations, you didn't die. You're still poor. Go left to walk up. Don't want- Oh, I mean, it looks like the castle. That's where the dragon's probably gonna be, right? Go left. A boulder body into the wall and a rock fell on you. You said the devil troubled me, huh? Walk up. You dodged the boulder and made it through. I see what you're doing here, game. You enter the castle. Walk left down the stairs, walk up to the columns. I accidentally selected something, which was go left. But we're still alive, so maybe that was a good thing. Slash the air now. You slashed the bat, but you just missed it. It then ripped the half of your body apart and flew away. You look back at your lower half in your last moments. Game over. Are we ever going to succeed in life? Well, last time we chose left. Let's try the columns. Oh no, I guess I chose the columns and I didn't realize it. Wait, okay. Wait, then slash. Yeah, you get those zoo bats. Me and my, me and my folks hate Mount Moon. You defeat the bat. You enter the room. There's the dragon. They're gonna want us to walk right, because that seems like logical, because you gotta like find its weak point. But secretly, its weak point is right behind it, so we're gonna attack now. The dragon's tail whipped you so hard that it broke your back. I think I got Dark Souls. Wasn't there a- there was five few dragons that like killed you with their tail, wasn't there? You got too close. Well, at least you weren't spineless, just broken spined. Okay, now let's go down the stairs. A dog- Yeah. Slap it. Attack it. It went about as well as I thought. The dog was too quick. You had no chance. You died. One of these days, attack is gonna work, and you're gonna laugh. Slap it. We have nice eyes. Are we gonna be friends? Oh god, I've been slapped! I've been locked in the slap dungeon. With the dragon. Walk right. What? Okay, both of our answers are wrong. Is this a dead end? The dragon's tail whipped you so hard that you hit the wall and instantly died. Okay, so... That rock must be a dead end. It must be unwinnable. Let's go... Maybe we find like a weapon or something in one of these routes. Let's go in the tall grass again. The, uh, praying... I think it's a praying mantis. Stand your ground. Yeah, that's good. Alter instinct. Slice. Dice. You defeated the monster. But here's the boulders again. But we don't have a thing to defeat the dragon, so we're just gonna die. Let's just go... Wait, no. We can walk right. Into the ocean. A boulder pushed you off the cliff. You threw your sword ahead of you to try and break the water. It broke it so it didn't feel like you were hitting the concrete from such a height. You went to the water and got stabbed by your own sword. You died. But well, that actually... That wasn't quite... Not with a sword, would it? 
You couldn't break the water of a sword like... I don't know if anyone's ever tested that. Maybe we do have to defeat the goblins. Goblins appeared. Run away. Oh, okay, the goblins killing around what? Can I ever beat the dragon? Game over. One of the goblins threw their spear at you and hit you right in the head. You instantly died. You troll as you fall to the ground. Why can't I beat the goblins? Walk up. Ooh, he dodged the boulder. This was a little different this time. So we went for the grass path, because we can't go for the forest no matter what. Yeah, so the grass path is different, somehow. The forest is a complete dead end. You just you just don't mess with goblins. You uh, bronze rank adventurers, don't even bother. Walk up through the columns, walk right up the stairs. I feel like the stairs is the right route, maybe? But I want to see... A being appears from behind the column. Attack the being. It's a rogue. Wait, what? The one I was attacking was myself all along. Just when you thought you had it, the being shadow took control of your shadow and killed you. Columns. Stand still and look at. Oh, we're friends. Wow. You're gonna help me with the dragon, right? Attack it. You didn't help with the dragon whatsoever. Let's go up the uh, the rainbow road. A fire monster appeared. Fine, attack it. One of these days it's gonna work, I'm telling you. It worked! You defeat the fire monster. I told you! You're probably like, oh, Manly just gonna die again. You were thinking that, weren't you? Go comment right now if you were. I like, call you out. Personally. You enter the room. There's the dragon. But now we have the... We killed the fire, so we have more XP, so we probably can't attack it now. I killed the king for you. Can I have the cure? Here. Wait. What? What? You win. The end. Man, that's a deep ending. And that would just mean the ocean. You've successfully beaten the game. Thank you for playing. True ending 2 of 2. The cure. So there is never ending. Huh. Okay, I want to see why we're here. What happens if we stand still with the fire? It burns you alive. See? I, I was foreshadowing attacking was going to work eventually. So we just have to keep trying. That's how you solve problems. You scream in agony and burn to a crisp. You're dead. Now rather than attacking, let's go to the right. We died. The dragon tail is really hard and you were thrown to the right. Your eyes are open. You're conscious, but you have lost control of your body. You die of starvation. Attack it. On the slapping route with the dog. Have you come to kill me like the others? Oh no. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Take my sword. I'm yours if you want me. I feel like this is a true, true end. Yeah, this is, this is the true, true end. This is the happy... This is the ending everyone really wants. You win. The end. You've just been in the game. Thank you for playing. True ending 1 of 2. In love. Now as we go the bat route, then walk right. As you walk right, the dragon's tail lifted up and sucked- Wait, what?! What's inside the dragon's- What?! 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 Oh my god. It's that meme. With like Sony fans and Nintendo fans. So that's it for Kill the Dragon. We in fact... Did not kill a dragon. And the, the goal was not to necessarily kill a dragon. Because you can't kill a dragon. You will always fail. The goal is either to marry the dragon, have its child. Or turn into a stone that we dropped in the ocean. And... Yeah, so this game was... It was kind of what I expected, but kind of not. I did not see some of those endings coming. Like, yeah, okay, the, oh, you tripped and fell, ha ha ha, like, those kind of endings, yeah, you can see that coming. You can see that. They're like, alright, this is the type of game it's gonna be, it's parroting uh, old adventure games and stuff like that, where, you know, there was, like, deaths around every corner. That was the point of those things. But then it got weird. It got, it got weird towards the end. And I'm not saying that in, like, a mean way it got weird, like, oh, it's too weird for me. More like... I'm going to remember some things here, and that's either a good thing or a bad thing. I haven't figured that out yet. But aside from that, you know, it's kind of
kind of a little charming little game. It's part of a... I'm not sure if it's like this is like a more developed version of a smaller game. Um, or if it's just literally ripped out of another game. But they mentioned it's part of another game called... Uh, I believe No Love. And this developer and artist's kind of vibe seems to be on that kind of spectrum. Where it's a little weird. Not necessarily like, like this one where people are dying everywhere. I don't think so anyway. I could be wrong. Because I haven't played those other games. But at first glance, it seems like they have a certain, like, sense of humor and style and everything. So it looks like that's the vibe those games are going for. Like usual, you know, check out the description. There's always links to the game. And you go from there to, like, the developer's profile. You can see the rubber games. But yeah, once again, we learned some powerful lessons. Don't kill a dragon and don't mess with goblins. Don't do it. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Kill the Dragon. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.